Hi guys, today I'm going to be planting up a pot that I got at Costco. It's a really big one and tall. So I want it to be here in my patio, but it's taking me such a long time and I really didn't choose choose the plants that I that I'm potting up, but I think it's going to work out. It's going to be good. And um, I'll show you the hacks that I am using to plant it up. All right, let's go. All right, so here are the plants that I have for this pot. Um, I think they're going to be really good. I have a lot of height in this um, in this pot, so they'll all be like thrillers basically and some fillers. I don't have a spiller, but I think it's going to it's going to look good. So the first is my pop of color. These are some snapdragons that I got for another pot for a friend of mine. This one was a variety pack. It has all these colors, beautiful yellow, like deep red and this magenta and this beautiful. I love this one. This one is just beautiful. It's like a salmon with orangey yellow. I love it. I think this is going to be a really nice summery um, variety for color and the pot is you're gonna see it you're gonna love it too i'm gonna love the color and the contrast then oops then i have these um salvias these are white salvias and as you can see they're already like bursting out of their pots but so that's why i need to put them up and then for more feeling and thrilling here i got this um dusty miller the silver dust and this one has been in the pot for such a long time. You can see it's already like I haven't done a good time, a good, a good job with this one. And then I have more. These are small, and they will grow a little bit more. But these are supposed to have um, yellow, yellow flowers. I don't have the name right now, but I'll put it on the screen. Um, and these are so cute because they're mini accents and I use them also for another pot. So here's the beautiful pot that I have. I don't exactly know how many gallons this is, but I will be putting in this five gallon bucket, as you can see. And I opened some holes right there. And then also for height so that it would be almost level here to the, to the rim of the pot. I went in with this hack, which is putting this base um, and then I opened some holes as well because if I put it all the way to the bottom, it's going to be too low. And as you can see, there's a hole right there and ooh, there's a tag. There you go. So I'm putting, I'm putting this, the hole is there, so that's going to drain here. Um, and then I just put a couple of a couple of rocks. And my brother is using his drone. It's leaving. It's going away. Oh my gosh! Great! It crashed. <laughs> it crashed. Oh my gosh! You have to go get it. I'll tell you more about my brother's drone. I don't think it's... I don't know if he's going to get it or not, but... Anyways, um, he he bought it and I think it didn't work from the beginning, so now it's, now it's really gone. So, um, we put this back to this. I put this and I think um, I had just the right size. I had a bigger one, but that was way too high for this. And so, now that I can nestle this gallon bucket over here and with the with a few of the stones there it's just to level it because it was going too much like this and I needed it to be leveled so now it's more leveled all right to open up the holes I use this half inch drill which I think opens the right size um, just for the water to, to drain out and I did seven because I think Sometimes I feel like if I don't do enough, some people do just one, one, but I think I just want to be ensured that the water is going to drain, especially because this is plastic. And so after that, I also, one of the things that I always do too, is I use this uh, fabric that I, uh, it's a garden fabric. And this is just so that the soil doesn't drain out when I water. 
and I just put it like so here at the bottom covering the holes and then I'm gonna go in with the soil all right so after this what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be putting in the soil and my brother recovered the drone here I'll show you he's got it <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. Okay, on to filling up the container with soil. Also what I did here is that I applied water to the soil so that it's wet and easier to add more water at the end of planting everything. So when I planted, I made sure to take out all those overgrown roots and tease the, the root system a little bit so that they can grow freely and grow nicely in the new pot. Then I noticed that the bucket was still sitting too low inside the pot so I used a couple of scrap material it's one by fours I think it was and uh, that helped me prop it up and it worked okay and so all the plants were potted everything was looking good except for the fact that the bucket was still seen and that is not a cute look so I decided to go in with a bunch of newspaper cram it in between the bucket and the pot and as you can see there I also use some sphagnum moss which I put on top of the soil that you could see and also all around the rim to cover the, the bucket. I love how everything pulled together so nicely even though they were all plants from different projects but it just shows you the power of the plants. Now it was on to set it in its place in the patio. After cleanup time I placed it in its new spot where it's receiving 6 to 8 hours of sunlight and it is very happy and looking beautiful. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me in the garden. I love experimenting because you learn something new every single time. Make sure to like and subscribe, which helps this channel grow, and comment below to tell me what you think. Also, check out my other videos, which I hope can help you in your garden or your house DIYs. Have a day full of blessings and see you next time.